Scene Script Ever pause to ponder why a pizza slice represents a fraction? Or why your favorite candy bar's wrapper could showcase a decimal? Or perhaps, why that sale sign in the window of your go-to store displays a percentage? It all comes down to the magical world of mathematics, where decimals, fractions, and percentages reign supreme. Today, we'll delve into the heart of these three concepts, unraveling their mysteries one by one. Begin with a simple question. What is a fraction? Imagine a delicious apple pie, divided into eight equal slices. If you take two slices, you have taken two out of eight parts of the whole pie. In mathematical terms, you've taken two-eighths of the pie, which is a fraction. The number above the line, called the numerator, represents the parts you've taken. The number below the line, known as the denominator, indicates the total number of equal parts. Now, let's venture into the realm of decimals. Picture a ruler. You want to measure something that's not quite one inch, but longer than half an inch. The space between those inch marks gets divided into tenths, and that's where decimals come in. A decimal is a way to represent a part of a whole when that whole is divided into ten, or a hundred, or a thousand, and so on. It's like a more precise fraction. Next up, percentages. The term percentage literally means per hundred. It's another way to express a fraction where the denominator is a hundred. If you've ever seen a sign that says 50% off, that means half off, since 50 out of a hundred is one half. So, how do these three concepts interrelate? They're all different ways to express a part of a whole. A fraction can be converted to a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. A decimal can be turned into a percentage by multiplying it by a hundred, and a percentage can be converted back into a fraction by putting it over a hundred. In summary, fractions, decimals, and percentages are all around us, playing a vital role in our daily lives. They are different ways to express parts of a whole. Fractions are based on equal parts of a whole. Decimals give a more precise representation of a part of a whole, especially when that whole is divided into tenths, hundreds, or thousands. Percentages, on the other hand, are fractions of a hundred. Understanding these concepts can help you see the world in a whole new light, from measuring lengths to understanding sale prices to dividing pizza slices. So, the next time you come across these numbers, don't shy away. Embrace them, for they make the world a much more interesting place.